Oh, 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 wow. Yep. I don't remember if I've put all the souls in here yet. I have not. <clears throat> okay, I think this is all that we have to do. All right. Let's let's fight Lord Gwyn. Manus is dead. Just take our word for it. We beat it. Totally. Footage mm. was lost. The video got don't corrupted question. by Aaron's. Uh, don't don't question it. Georgian bread. Don't don't question it at all whatsoever. We beat him. We cheesed it. Yep. Sorcery. Mm-hmm. Dark bead. It's equipped right now. Yep. I'm not going to use it, though, because the Gwyn fight is very painful. Here we go! You can see other knights, like, wandering through, like, this weird void thing. Punch it. Are you using the Zwei Handler? Yes. I'm going to parry and then Zwei Handler him. Because it'll deal more damage. DLC sucks, guys. Yes, it does. It was very painful. Totally. Also, this is a really good area to farm Black Knight weapons. Which, um, if I get a Black Knight sword, I'll probably Why is everything use it. ash? Because this is the first kiln. Oh, wow. Okay. Cody, he's still standing. For now. Oh. I want that shield. That's what I want in my life. How was that? I mean, you got hit. Okay, now this next guy, I can't really parry him because he's using a great sword. Okay. And I think that I need a certain type of shield to be able to parry him. So I'm just gonna um, troll him, basically. Come on, Aaron. Sorry. Sorry. Nothing. Don't ignore. ignore. Question nothing. Um. Oh! Dude, you just... He just like... Just... That's dude. what I mean by trolling him. Dude, like, you got, like, fucking sent flying. You yeah, got, he's using a giant ass sword. Do you you see got how big that anime sword? fucked. I mean, this is anime, isn't it? I don't know. The drawings look too good. Um, well, I mean, there's also a very distinct lack of boobs, and that's usually the only thing that they really animate. <laughs> and also, you know, it actually has a main character that is not OP just because of plot. Looking at you, One Piece. And Dragon Ball Z, and Naruto, and Fairy Tale. And hopefully he slides off the edge. Ah, uh, just that. Oh, uh. literally every shonen jump anime ever, and manga. I've really tried doing a near automata move. And um, if you're about to get hit, you can um, press the evade button, and yeah. you'll like do this weird like time warp thing and avoid the ability or like move or damage or whatever it is. And I definitely tried doing that there. What? <laughs> Just like out of force of habit. <clears throat> so that's where Gwyn is over okay. there, and the staircase leads to him. And everything's all like calcified and stuff because the first flame was huge, and my theory is that that wall out there was the outer edges of the first flame when it like oh. first started spreading. And now everything's kind of like covered in ash. He's using a battle axe. Fuck. And I just parried him. <laughs> do it again. He's just like, I love how they just politely stand there and let you do it. Honestly, anyone who can one-hand as Y-Handler is... Deserves it. Like, 
Like, seriously, this thing is, like, 50 pounds. Oh, whoops. I forgot that he does the jumping move. Like, that thing, that thing is, like, fucking huge. And heavy. Typically, the Zvi handlers were also slightly curved. Like, yeah. they had little wiggly wigglies. Well, Zvi handlers were meant to break pikemen, like, spears. That was the whole point. The Germans were just like, you know what? Pikemen suck ass. Let's make swords that can fuck them over. And so they did. German engineering, guys. By Volkswagen. Don't need to get that close. Like, I have that to. Is, that is seriously going to be loud. I have to. Aaron, I, I don't I, care. I have to. Don't get that close to the mic. I have to. Aaron. I have to. Aaron. Cody. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> don't fucking say my name like that, you whore. Why don't you get good for once? Oh, I missed. Oh. Get good for once, mate. Oh, nope. Run away! Run away, God. What? Oh. That was funny how it didn't take. Wait, so this is the entire fight for you, pretty much? It is actually supposed to be a lot harder. I think I caught him in an animation loop. Oh. Yeah, I definitely caught him in an animation loop. Like, he goes, like, super bonkers, I'm pretty sure. Like that? No. Like, that is nothing. And I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't, I don't remember if it's, like, a two-stage thing. Oh. <laughs> or if he just, like, was really bonkers the first time that I tried fighting him. I don't know, but... I'll say, like, if you were just gonna beat him like that, that was almost... That would've been, like... I'm pretty sure there's, like, a second stage to it. I, I know, know that, that in Dark Souls 3, the final boss has, like, six stages. Well, I mean, like... Watching if... Aaron and Danny beat that was amazing. I did not even watch him play it. You didn't? Oh, wait, that's right, because you wanted to avoid spoilers. Yeah, like, I actually wanted to Because we're gonna play it. Yeah. Like, that's also we're why... We're gonna be taking a break from Dark Souls after this, honestly, even though we've already had a hiatus. Yeah, like, Dark Souls 2, like, because that's what I'm playing. Like, I am... You've already taken your hiatus, Aaron. <laughs> I did. I don't know, Dark Souls 2, for me, is, like... It's also really unappealing, because it's a lot of stress and work to get good at it. Yeah, I haven't put so much time into a game, like, something like that. Since Bayonetta. CK2. Well, no, like, CK... Um, Bayonetta isn't... Civ as... 5. No, no, I mean, like, in any game, in, like, games like this. Like, the last time I put, like, real, actual, dedicated work into a game... I carried him. <laughs> did you see yeah, that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> like, games like these, I... Like, I used to, like, if you, like, early, like, in junior high, I would have put every ounce of my life into, into a game, game like this. Yep. But nowadays, like, I am so more chill when it comes to games that putting a lot of effort into something like this is not appealing to me anymore whatsoever. Because you don't want to play games to, like, stress out. Yeah, like, you I... want to play them to relax. Yeah. You're not like me. Like, Bayonetta, like, Bayonetta is a fun game. I fucking it's love it. It's also really hard, too, at parts. Yeah, especially when... If you're doing, like, achievement hunting in that, like... The ability to not get hit in that game... You're dead. And off the edge. So, like... Anyone who's ever played Bayonetta, there... It is 100% possible to dodge every single attack in that game and... And activate which time... And some of those things are, like, um, pressing random buttons at the proper time, because it's, like, RNG-based, right? No, it's more like... Like, when you're going for, like, combos, like, uh... Um, what is it? Um, torture, torture attacks. You have to mash a certain button and to deal the most possible amount of damage. Off the edge with you. Oh, maybe not. So... And sometimes, like, there's just certain things in that game where 
I found it almost impossible to act. Like, you have to have the ability to get pure platinum, which means you went through each stage, pat, like, defeated each mini boss and, or boss in a really good amount of time, and took no damage, used no items, didn't die. Like, 100% it. Like, you had nothing, you didn't do anything. Like, you didn't get hit, or nothing like that. And to me, like, no. No, like, after I beat the game, I beat the game, that was it. That was just something I didn't want to achievement hunt. Because of the fact that if I did that, I would just be completely stressed out to the point where it's just not fun. And, that, I mean, I'm still going to play Dark Souls 2. I'm going to get completely fucked over a lot. Yeah. I think that can be something for on, like, the back burner. Yeah, because, like... So that way it's not, like, you're so stressed out about trying to play it and do well. Yeah, that's just the problem with <clears throat> games but, like I mean, these. To I mean, make people... lots of progress, too, you will have to, like, sit down and practice yeah. every once in a while. I mean, like... I mean, some people enjoy getting completely stressed out while they're playing these things, because the, when you actually beat them, it feels good. It feels great to, you know, yeah. beat an enemy that's taking you ages like the Artorius fight. Yeah. And that was like legit YouTube gold. Yeah. Unfortunately I'm not famous on YouTube, so it didn't matter. I mean <laughs> I mean the people who watched it, I'm sure they enjoyed it very much. Thank you guys for watching. So basically Aaron who Pretty watched much. it like twenty three times. I did not watch that twenty three times. I watched I, I watched it once. I don't watch videos. I like to well. think most of my views are from me. <laughs> Ow. You got backhanded like a bitch. But no, like, game, like... I don't know. I, I'll play, like, a game like this maybe once in a blue moon. But... <gasps> ooh. <laughs> I got the parry! <laughs> I don't know, just these things, these things, these, it's just, it's not that fun to me. Oh, did I ever show you the Dark Souls 2 boss that you can fight? That you can parry them the entire fight and I kill them. I think you did. And then you can use like these weird javelins to kill them. I don't know. This they is... use that. They do that in the speed run for 100% boss completions runs and still. I don't know. Did I we... was really into speed running for a while. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, I like like I said, if it works for you guys, you know, hey. But personally, I play games for fun. I've never been able to parry that. Like, that's just how I do. I'm not... I mean... I understand the appeal of completionists. I can understand speedruns. I've always been a completionist. But, like... Unless the game's, like, crazy hard. I remember you playing Call of Duty and you had... You were, like... I was raging my fucking tits off trying to get that final achievement on Modern Warfare. Yeah. Where, the Mile High Club. Yeah. Where you beat it on Veteran and you have, like... 60 seconds to get through the entire level. Yeah. I remember. Like, one thing, like... I mean, like, dedication to something like that is just unfathomable to me. Like, even, like... I have over... That's what? typically why I play most of the games that are tough, right? Yeah. Because I, I just... I sit down and I force myself to play it. Well, also then, I also don't have, like, that kind of time to do stuff like that. Even, like, I have, I have, like, over a thousand hours in Crusader Kings 2, but uh, that you've was... You've also been playing that for years. Yeah. Like, that was, I remember I had a thousand, like, 100 hours, I remember back when I had 100 hours in that game, right? That was before I started college. Ow. So a year, like, um, over a year ago. The summer before I went to college, or went to DAC for the first time, I put in another 300 hours. So I was sitting at 400 hours in that game at, from after a whole summer. So. I put... Like, that's the only game I'm really achievement hunting in. That's the only game I really do. I got 600 hours in CSGO in under a year. Yeah, like... Shit like that, I can't do. Like, co online competitive stuff, it's not my thing. I've kind of, like, grown away from it. 
I mean, like, it, it's one of those things where it's like, you play it once in a while, you know, it's fun. Like, it's fun to play with it for a while, but... Like, it's not that worth- it's not worth that much. Like, people who spend, like... Oh god, like... Oh, fuck. I knew that was coming to- oh my god, this is gonna suck. Uh oh. Uh... Oh my god, I healed just in time. There you go. Ow. Oh, it's a four-hit combo? He can do any number of combos. And he has that gap closer. That's what I mean. He just does that, and he's, like, very voracious. I getcha. But, like, I don't know, to me these games are appealing when it's, like, that to the point where it's just meant to stress you out. Right. I mean, I f I'll play them. Like, I will find- I will probably enjoy them, but... It's just something you gotta find the time for. Yeah, like Bayonetta, I played Bayonetta until I beat it. Like, I remember was, all yeah. the conversations we had where you were just raving about it, and then like the one day you were just like so mad, like you were like yeah, because like I was trying, I was I was trying to beat this one, like I, w I always try to do something like be decent at each level, you know. I still get fucked over. I get fucked over to no end. And, like Bayonetta, don't get me wrong, Bayonetta is a great game, but oh. Uh... It's just as frustrating as it is amazing. Yeah, like, I mean, I'll just show us how Dark Souls is. And of course, you all, all you're probably like, oh, Bayonetta is not like Dark Souls. It's not that hard. Like, there are I... two different genres of game. Yeah, like... I don't know. Like, I like the story of Bayonetta. I mean, yeah, it's not going to be as hard as Dark Souls. Right? It's not supposed to be. Yeah, no. But for, like, me, after leaving... After, like not wanting to bother with these types of game, like, most games, it's just like, I just don't see the appeal of it anymore, like, if I really wanted to, I probably could. I could spend hours and hours, but at that point, it's tedious, right? At that point, it's not, fuck. Like, at that point in games, like, if you have to, if it becomes tedious, then it's not fun. Like, if you, like, it's like going to, it's like, this at this, at that point, to it's me. It's like unnecessary challenge. It's like a, it's like a job. And your only reward is an achievement. Or getting through it. That's it. We should probably not talk about work. <laughs> no. Especially with me. No. So many issues. My but, work sucks. Let, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> But and your work with all the drama too. Eh, it's kind of calmed down now a bit. A but, bit. A bit. But I, like at this point, this game, these games come become a chore. Like it's like okay, let's play. Let's play. Does that mean you appreciate me for being able to play these types of games? I mean, like good for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm. I can't play it like this. So yeah, it's, for me, Dark Souls 2 is definitely going to be a lot longer. Once we finish this, we can always start in the air. I mean, like... I and that'll be a good long-running game. I mean, like, I'll, I'll play Dark Souls 2. Like, I'll play it. I just can't guarantee we're going to get very far in, a lo in, like, any amount of time. It's just... It's just a fact. Like... I don't know. Like I said, if it if it becomes if it feels like a chore, it to me it's not fun. Kind of wish I could backstab um, Gwyn. Can't. Nope. I can only parry. If he does have a backstab spot, it's really small. Yeah. Because I mean, I've gotten as close to the hitbox as I can, or at least as closest to what's natural. But it's different on every enemy. Like yeah. on some models it's off to the side of it. There was like there was a point where I took I took a break from uh Crusader Kings 2 because it felt like a chore. 
at a certain point follow your chore. And even now, like, I'm playing Europa Universalist 4, and at this point, like, I am... The mechanics in EU4 are completely different. Did I tell you about the one time that I did this, and as I went through the animation, it pushed me off the edge with him because his body got dragged and I was still in the animation? <laughs> So it just launched me off the edge. I was so upset. I would have been too, man. But so, like, the thing is, in that game, it's so easy. Like, I don't understand it. I really don't understand why. Because I, I did a custom build nation, right? Right. And I did it with the, like, with Italy. I called it Roma. Just for the, just for the, yeah, shits and giggles. Right. That move, where he jumps in the mm -hmm. air, he always does it if you just walk straight at him on this area, and it will always, without fail, knock you off that edge where there's a gap. Yeah. That's... It's cancer. Yes, it is. But, like, like I was saying, um, so military tech determines how effective your military is, right? Well, I don't understand how it happens. Uh, I always end up with a really low military tech oh, compared reacts. to like uh, England, France, you know. Right. And I never understood why. It always bothered me. I could never, I could never explain it. So like, if I went to war with someone and like England was in there, they would fucking wreck me. Like I could have the larger army, but they still wreck me. I could, carried him. That I could nice. never. I just never could understand. I just. That's my only. Key thing right now is I can't I can't I have I'm having so much trouble because it costs uh, military points to uh, increase your technology right right your, your tech because there's diplomatic uh, administrative and military after this fight I'll have to see if we can actually summon help for this boss because there is an NPC that you can summon but you have to follow a certain quest path and I don't remember if we did it on this one no, it was, it was the other one. Well, I think I tried replicating it on this one. Oh, shit. If he hits you with the second one, the third's guaranteed to hit. That's something that I found out when I first went and played through the game. Okay. So, if I can't parry the first one, then I'm screwed. And honestly, when I first beat this, I was also using magic. Mm -hmm. Because I used my um, cheap build, and I used like this really overpowered crystal um, spell build, and it's just crazy. I could like two shot him. You know what I always find funny? What? The people who, like, you know how you do, uh, like you said, the cheap build? So it's funny. The people who always like talk like that, or like they'd be like, yeah, I did all this, and like, but with the straight up melee bill, I didn't use any mana, blah, blah, blah. It's always the same ones who actually lack no skill in life whatsoever. Have you noticed that? I like to think that I'm at least decent. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, like, decent's one thing, but people who are, like... Oh, yeah, I'm just so amazing. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I... But what they don't mention is that they sat there and did that for, like, 30 hours straight. Yeah, exactly. And, like, and that was just for like a quarter of the game. Yeah. It's like, is that is that really is that really skill or is that just you know having the time to sit there and waste it? Well, not necessarily waste it, but I don't consider any video game a waste of time. As long as you're having fun, that's one thing. But I, but like at some point, that's just like like at some point you gotta go outside and get some sunlight. Well, that and it's like. A, it's almost kind of sad. Like, you are bragging about something that... Yeah, you did this. Like, you you did this one thing. Great. But... And? Like, that's all you... Like, that's going to be like. Like, if someone tried to brag about that to me, I'd be like... I mean, it's, it's also not like they're, you know, bragging about, like, a world record. Like, oh, yeah, I have the world's fastest run with the melee build on Dark Souls 3. Of like twenty-two minutes and fifty-five seconds. 
like, I, I don't know, like, I don't know if that's just how, uh, this just doesn't appeal to me or what, but to me it's like, it's like, yes, you have time, awesome, great job. Yeah, like, most of my time is either sleeping or working, This, especially with the summer. Like, at this point, like, I'm gonna, like, I got four classes this summer, or next semester, So like, I almost rolled off the edge there. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have four classes. Like, what are you doing with your, like, what are you doing if that is all I you do? I this was here. Like, what are you doing, like, actually? Oh, that's actually kind of helpful. Cause it's got extra fire resistance. But so, like, I also have to chain, well, maybe I don't. It only weighs a little bit more. Okay, that weighs a lot more. I'm okay. gonna stick with this helmet. Yeah, everything else is fine. Okay, so like the way I look at it is how like what entirely did you cut out of your life for this? Some people just don't have friends. Like, there are a lot of people who just like the people in their area just are not for them, or they just can't find the people that are in their niche. Well, I mean, like, I mean, like aside so, from like, that, like. In, what about like, what job? about what about disabled people? Well, that's not what I'm talking about. Like I'm talking about like, for, like what about those kids like Harry from school? You know, um, Italian Harry. Yeah, he wasn't Italian. Italian in quotes because his last name was technically Italian because it was like Vespucci or something like that. I think it was Spanish or Portuguese. I don't know. But like, but no, like I mean like. Like, what about a job? Like, we all have to get a job, so we all have to make money. You know what I mean? Like, eventually, like, eventually you got a job. I mean, you hate it. Well, it took me three years to get a job, so... I know, I mean... But, like, does doing stuff like this, does this pay the bills, right? I mean, it could in the future, but not currently. I mean, like... Gaming on YouTube is one thing, but how that missed, I will never know. But like, like this wasn't a, this wasn't like for all gaming YouTubers or most. There like are this wasn't people that just can't make a living off of this, even though they do have like the numbers for it. Or like like Mark, he didn't he for the longest time this wasn't a living. This was he but like, went to college and everything. Yeah, he because was, he had he had the ability. Oh, was, I, I missed that. Like this wasn't. A thing. This was. It was just something to do. Just for fun. I'm dead. That's what this is. That's what it was. Like. I'm dead. So dead. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know. To me, it it just doesn't seem like it's something that. It's like Mark, Jack, and Wade. You know, they don't rely on YouTube for. To be a career, like even after you, even after YouTube, you know they still have to get a job somehow, right? Yeah, whenever YouTube is no longer like a thing, which probably isn't going to be for quite a while anyway, just because YouTube's owned by Google now. But think of it this way, right? Adpocalypse. Oh God, can't wait for this to be over. But, so think of it like this, right? I feel like that's why Mark hasn't been, like, doing as much charity stuff, because he just doesn't have the money. Probably. And plus he does swear a lot in all of his videos. Right. Like, that's just Mark. I mean, Wade doesn't, but, you know. But, so think of it like this, like... The gamers came out of the second generation of YouTube, right? Like... Funny cat videos. No, that's the first gen. Right, I... That's what I'm saying, but Funny Cat Video is, like, being first gen, and then... Like, Smosh was first gen, I think. Like, they we did had skits and stuff. Yeah, like, that was a huge thing on YouTube for the longest time. Like, if you could do sketch comedy videos on YouTube, you were in. Like, I, you were rem popular, rem all of your videos, just... Remember when we... I remember, like, I was so, like, amazed by the fact that Ray William Johnson had, like, 5 million views... Like, SMP Films, remember him? Mm-hmm. Like, he was a huge thing on YouTube. 
And now, like, he doesn't really make videos anymore. He doesn't he, post or anything. He was married. He was married. I remember that because I used to watch his vlogs all the time. He still does them, but so he would. I remember watching all of his videos. The Mean Kitty song was was like the best. I remember when it hit 50 million views on YouTube. I remember when Yami Mash was really like really small watching him and then like after like a week of watching him his videos like jumped up like 50,000 views on average within the first day. Yeah, like and that was just because he associated with Markiplier. Yeah. And I was just like holy shit. But that's the thing, like that that's like second gen. That's like where second gen started with PewDiePie with Markiplier we're like, like Captain Sparkle. We're in like what, seventh gen? Right no, now? no, this would have to be third gen. Cause honestly, if you think about it, just like sketch comedy videos, like Smosh. I mean Smosh are still going strong, but now we're getting to the Vine community. Yeah, like Vine, vlogging. Like we want to know the personal lives of our fan of our favorite YouTubers. Like this is third gen right now. If you can vlog well, there you go. But, like, you understand, like, this isn't... Like, gaming isn't gonna last on YouTube forever. I mean, Smosh is still around, you know, Ray William Johnson's still producing, uh, Equals 3, but he's just no longer hosting it. You know what I mean? Like, he's moved on. He's got a girlfriend, uh, Red, he Red Kelly. I've watched their, uh, Facebook Live videos. Shane Dawson's not really, not really a thing anymore. I can't even remember the last time I saw one of his videos. Like, I think I watched one just for nostalgia reasons. I like to go back and watch some like really old videos. Oh, Mister Mister Yeah, is it Mystery Guitar Man or Mister Mystery? What was his name? What was his name? Shit, he wore the sunglasses all the time. And like he used to make music, like little music stuff. He wore the sunglasses everywhere because like that was his shtick. He wore he wore sunglasses. Was it Mystery Guitar Guy or? I have no Mister, idea. Mystery, uh, fuck. Like I used to watch him all the time. Like his like oh my god. I used to watch a uh, Blob Studios, which did Lego stop stop or stop motion Lego videos. Remember when I showed you that DBZ uh, claymation thing? Yeah. That was freaking, like, the most lit thing ever at the time. It was. Like, lit is legitimately the only way to describe it. But, like, nowadays, it's, like, it's, you, it's so different that... <laughs> like, everything is just so different now that, like, this third generation, like, you got Logan Paul and the other fucker who was like hitting YouTube by storm because they were Viners. And then Vine got closed down because whatever company like bought them out or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but I think it was Twitter. But after Vine kind of went dead, you know, I heard it, it, it just, it doesn't make sense. Like how, like I can understand gaming, but even at that time, like people were like, why would you want to watch someone play games? You can play yourself. In quotes. Yeah. And everybody had the money. Like me. That's 90% of why I watched other people play games was because I didn't, you know, have the opportunity to always get games. You want to know the first, uh, Let's Player? I remember when they were called Let's Players? I mean, they still kind of are. Well, no, like, you remember when, like, they were all called Let's Players because they would put, like, a lot of people put in their title, Let's Play. Or they would put in the tags. Yeah. Because, like, this, they're like, Let's Play, blank, you know? Mine was a very obscure YouTuber called uh, GNR Fan. GNR Fan 5000, I think it was? I wonder if they still have a YouTube channel. I'm going to look that up right now. Oh my god. They still exist? Have they grown at all since you last watched? The last thing they posted was a year ago. Really? Yeah, I think they're dead. 
Probably. If it was a year ago, I would assume so. I mean, yeah. I got the Black Knight Greysword. Because I remember the last thing I was watching them play was Donkey Kong Country. Oh, wow. Because I remember watching their uh, Sonic... Yeah, their Sonic Adventure DX. Oh my god, that was eight fucking years ago, Cody. I remember watching the Pokemon Snap, Sonic Aaron, 06. My Spy Handler does 234, and the Black Knight Sword base does 220. Nice. I might have to go and upgrade it and deal a butt ton of damage. Like, I remember watching all these. That was eight years ago. The Black Knight weapons are really OP, by the way. I can tell. Yeah, their YouTube channel exists. I don't know, that's just... I, I don't know what happened, like... That, like, that was early YouTube. Like, that was like the, that was around the dawn of... the gaming community. Like, we didn't even call them gamers at the time, they were Let's Players. Let's play Amnesia, The Dark Descent, episode 30 million. And that's when titles were, like, crazy long, too. Yeah, like, people... People would, like, properly punctuate everything and have, like, full sentences in the see, title. See, there were two types of uh, YouTubers who did gaming when it came to titles. Really short episode or really short titles, and then oh really God, long... Oh, my God, potato! And, like, every long... Oh, come on. Or, like, really long videos, or video titles. And, like, no one recorded longer than 15 minutes. Because nobody would watch that long. Yeah, like, that was, because, like, at the end, because, like, during Gen 1, all sketch comedy videos were short. People didn't have the attention span to sit there for hours. Yeah, and nowadays, it's and like... even now, still, some people don't, but YouTube's changed the algorithm to promote those longer videos. Yeah, and now it's, like, the algorithm is just kind of, like... Because if you think about it... Like, back then, if you, like, we watch eight-hour live streams now, right? So it's like, why would you want to, like, back then, it's like, eight hours? Are you fucking kidding me? I can barely watch a 15-minute video. Yeah. So it's like, why would you... What? <laughs> <laughs> so now, but now it's like, yeah, fuck, yeah, eight hours, shit, let's do this. I don't work today. Remember when... We used to just like load up random like twenty four hour videos, and we would just like have them play in the background. The only the only uh, the only videos that were really long were the repeater ones, like the Neon Cat ten hours. Those were the only videos that were that long. Oh come on, that was perfectly timed. But, like, stuff like that, yeah. Like, that's old. <sighs> oh, shit. I'm dead. No, you're not. Oh, the Black Knight armor has better fire magic, or fire resist. Uh, you know, sometimes I wonder, with YouTube getting as big... Sometimes I wonder, you know, like, YouTube being as big as it is, like, is that really healthy for everybody? Or is that, is it even healthy for YouTube? Yeah, like, I mean, YouTube was just a place where people could store their videos. You know, people would watch them. That was the whole point of YouTube, right? I like family videos, funny stuff, just yeah. sharing, you know, great moments. Like, there used to be, like, a huge montage scene for, like... For a while, man. For, like, any video game, really. Like, montage... I remember when montages were the shit. Or compilations. Yeah, like, Markiplier's, like, way back when... Like, his horror compilations. Yeah, those were the shit. Like, the best moments, like... I don't know, man. Ow. Honestly, I don't, like, personally, I don't like the fact that people like Logan and all that people, all them, like, 
Like, uh, I mean, if people watch them, I guess there's nothing wrong with that, but... And, like, so many people make money off of YouTube by doing the most low-effort stuff. Yeah. Like, most of these viral videos that you see are just clickbait. And that's honestly annoying in itself. <laughs> Remember when the biggest problem with clickbait was boobs and the <laughs> title? And, <laughs> like, the little, uh, um, screen or whatever, what was it, a uh, tab? And, like, the little... I mean, still now that's even a problem. That's all people base their comedy off of is boobs. Uh, boobs. I mean, boobs are great and everything, but... Boobs. Oh, there was a Spriter I used to watch. I just thought of him. Kudu 17, Sonic Mansion and all that shit. Back when... Oh, my God. It's so cringy. Oh. Who cares about boobs anymore? It's all about butts, obviously. But no, like, I remember watching the whole thing, like, he did a run, and then he ended- he killed the series. And it was the perfect way to end it, too. Cause I think- I think what happened was they killed it with- I think it was, like, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> it was someone- No! No, it was the old voice actor for, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> I've just been in this place before. Oh, uh, I got on the streets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but no, no, it was a Dan. No, it was a one of the characters or one of the guys who used to voice Sonic. He wanted to get his revenge on them for like getting rid of him as a voice actor and replacing him with a new guy who did Sonic Colors. And so he sought out to kill them <laughs> in sprite animations. And I remember the whole Tails doll thing, and the only way to kill him was make him watch Seabiscuit. <laughs> they glue him to a chair and make him watch Seabiscuit. I remember the, like, Tails doll and, like, playing music backwards thing. That was, like, the dawn of creepypasta on the internet. Oh. It was still cool. It was cool. The, I remember the dawn of creepypastas and oh, was it Jeff the Killer? Mm-hmm. Um, Jeff the Killer, Slender Man. Oh, uh, what was the what was that one um, about the the creature in the woods? Not Slender. Um... Oh wow! Heal, heal. Oh, I, I know, I, I think I know what you're talking the about. The one that would, like, come out of the woods and, like, you would just wake up and it would be in front of you and it would be like, shh. The rake? Yes. The rake. You are scaring me. You scare me. Yeah, it was the rake. Like, the dawn, like... Oh, top 10 videos were also something I enjoyed. Top 10 everything. Top 10 Pokemon. Top 10 video game. Top 10 this. Top, top 10, 10 Watch that. Mojo titles. Top 10 Watch that Mojo. Was before, this is, that was before. Top 10 Watch Mojo episodes. That was before I actually discovered Watch Mojo. Actually. Oh, I missed. Oh. Why did that sound like a really bad fart. I think that's what it was intended to sound like. What? <laughs> I think I parried it at the perfect time, it just didn't register on his character model because I was too close. Like, this, like stuff like that now is, like, the fact that people go, fuck. Ow. You wanna, do you wanna call it an episode? Even know how long we've been going. We always forget that. We always forget to start a timer. I mean, minus the Manus thing. It should have been an episode of Manus, but we lost it. I don't know. <sighs> we could call it an episode there. Technically, we made progress. Yeah. We put the souls in the ward vessel. <laughs> next, next episode, we will beat him yep like i i think what we should do is instead of like actual commentary 
Like, it's gonna be the actual, it's just, the, it's just gonna be a winning fight, is what it should be. Okay. I don't know. Let, let us know in the comments what you guys think we should do. Later, guys. Don't die.